what do, what's your philosophy about doctoral training? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what should they? What would be things that they should focus on and think about that might be different than mm -hmm. uh, as in than their experience as an undergraduate, say? Mm. It's um, really you're developing thinking skills, right? You're, the goal is really um, learning about how to address a problem with rigorous methods that involves thinking and that re involves actually the best way to develop that I think is to uh, uh, apprenticeship, right? But for that you need to have a good mentor which will be faculty members. <laughs> it goes back I think again to the importance of faculty, that's why I've been emphasizing it. Um, so, you know, if you're undergrad, at least when I was an undergrad, you know, for me, I was just kind of a receiver of knowledge, right? What we knew about, you know, the world at that point. And I was just amazed about how <laughs> much information there was out there. But if you're a researcher, right, or you're becoming um, to, you're tr being trained as a researcher, you're actually part of the expanding the knowledge, right? So that's actually, I think, it's pretty amazing. And being part of that, um, I think uh, you need to be prepared to um, spend a lot of time. And that's different from undergrad experience, where you know maybe part of it, a large part of it, is just you know to kind of um, learn about what's been uh, put out there. Now, as a creator of knowledge, you have to really uh, kind of a practice, right? What is the rigorous process to do that? Um, so I think that's a big difference, and it takes there are multiple aspects about it. You know? yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, and that the the value of these research apprenticeships, right. and working closely with faculty and mm -hmm. other doctoral students on right. projects, right. really being the the key training ground to, for this uh, these these disciplinary practices and competencies to develop. Mm -hmm. What advice you would give to someone considering coming mm -hmm. to UCI mm -hmm. for a doctoral program. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what do we have to offer here that's uh, maybe different than mm -hmm. in other settings? Mm -hmm. well, um, well, so doctoral students may look at different things and they should look at um, multiple things. Of course, a lot of people tend to look at financial support. That is important. I think actually what UCI offers is fabulous. Very, very few students actually provide financial support that UCI does. Yeah, we uh, guarantee five years of funding absolutely. for all the students that come into the program. I find that actually personally amazing. <laughs> when I went to a um, you know, doc program, we didn't have that. We maybe had like a partial support, maybe to one student out of the entire cohort of say 40, right? So what you see I, at School of Education is doing for the entire core, cohort and then guaranteeing it for five is I think it's just amazing opportunities uh, for students and they should not be taken for <laughs> granted. Uh, and I think that's really it shows the commitment of the school, right, to training these students and future scholars or, you know, people in various fields um, who go into various fields. Um, the other piece, I think, uh, is related to what drew me um, to UCI, which is really renowned uh, faculty members, right? So, you know, you, as a doc student, you spend a lot of time with the faculty members, and that's who you learn from. And therefore, you know, having strong scholars in each field with experiences and expertise, and that's key and critical. So um, I think we have really experts in so many different aspects and doc students should really carefully look at their work, right? So whether it matches their interest and also the way faculty members approach a particular research question and do they have opportunities to, you know, um, like for them to have a practical training in participating in research project to see the process of getting research done, how they think about and approach a question. Um, so all those pieces are important and I think UCI does have that, you know. Uh, we have you know, truly fabulous faculty here and I think that's really one of the um, 
cues. So one of the things that I make sure to t share with um, potential or prospective doc students is really for them to think about the commitment it takes for them and for the faculty and for the school. So for the student, it, they're committing their at least five years, for example, a lot of times, right, of their time and effort. And it's huge commitment, and it's going to have a large influence on their career trajectories afterwards, right? So they have to think about that carefully. It also is a commitment for, uh, for faculty <laughs> members as well. We are spending a lot of time with them. Uh, we're actually uh, investing resources in them, right? So we have to, you have to think about that as well. And of course, schools are providing, uh, you know, investing tremendous amount of resources in them, right? So think about all these things um, uh, from a multiple, I guess, uh, perspectives. And then and think about the training that they will get, right? So it has to, from all different angles, we want you know, everything worked the best for the students, right? So I want the students to think about those multiple aspects, not just one thing, okay, maybe this is the time to apply, but without thinking about why and what it implies for their future. I think one of the things that I was impressed about UCI after having come to UCI is the care that faculty members put into the PhD program. I was really um, uh, very happily surprised about it. You know, the conversations that go on in the f committee meetings, and uh, they re we really put a lot of um, thoughts into the curriculum and uh, how to provide support system for the students. And then another piece that I kind of found that's different, at least compared to when I was in the top program, is support system. Like, uh, there, we have student support systems, you know, for you know, student organizations and things like that. Uh, that I wished that I had. <laughs> and UCI School of Education does have that. And I think that that's, um, you know, something maybe, uh, so for students who are here, it's, it's what they experience for the first time that they think that that's maybe um, the case uh, in all the schools. That's not the case in all the schools. Yeah. I think that the School of Education here has those, um, it provides really a very good support for students. Right, we're not just connected to the community, mm -hmm. but we are a community. Exactly, yeah, uh, exactly. Here as well. Yeah.